man in holy fire! takes over Call of Duty, bringing down the full might of the Imperium of Man, alongside a Zombies update and a few little changes coming to Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. So let's talk about everything coming in the Season 2 Reloaded update. First off, your favorite map from Call of Duty Vanguard is getting remastered. That's right, DOS House is getting a remaster for Modern Warfare 3, but however, it's set on top of a skyscraper that's still under construction. So one bad jump will lead you 50 stories off the edge of the building and to your death at the ground level. So you gotta be very careful of where you're jumping and something neat about this map is that it's within viewing range of the map High Rise. And on top of DOS House, we're also getting two new Call of Duty maps with an eldritch horror theme. We're getting the map of Airborne, the terminally sick and infected version of the map Terminal, covered in a pox and gas that infects the entire airport and surrounding area. And we're also getting Skid Row, the overgrown version of Skid Row left abandoned after some unknown horror unfolded and forced everyone out of their homes and out of the city. And this season, we're getting two new game modes. The first game mode is... Juggermosh. Juggermosh is basically every normal game mode except for it has the twist of everyone has a juggernaut suit and is dressed up like a space marine. Everyone is wearing Mark 9 space marine armor with one team being the Ultramarines dressed in blue led by Robot Silly Man and the other team will be the Blood Marines dripped out in red and the superior side who's most likely going to win every single game because the Blood Angels are absolute animals in Warhammer 40k lore. In the new Warhammer 40k game modes you're going to see that there's going to be a one-hit kill weapon in the middle of the map. It's a one-hit kill melee. The chainsaw. It's basically like the standard version of a sword, but someone decided a chainsaw would make it better. And when you attack somebody with this, it will cut all the way through their juggernaut armor, making it a one-hit kill to full juggernauts. This game mode also has a new interesting twist. The game will actually show you the health bars over the enemy's heads, so you and your teammates can target the weakest link. That way gang up on the weaker ones, like Winston here. And we're also getting the other game mode of Bounty, which is going to be a team deathmatch version with unlimited lives and a scoreboard. You get one point per kill and five points for killing the high value target. However, the high value target is the highest slayer on the enemy team, meaning that if you actually get to kill them, you're gonna get some bonus points, but it's gonna be pretty hard to kill them. And there's only one way to play any of these new game modes. It's dripped out in the new Warhammer 40k bundles. The first bundle is the Ultramarines, which gives you a permanent cosmetic for your recon juggernaut suit that dresses you up as a space marine of the Imperium of Man. And on top of this, you get two space marine outfits for your characters in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone that you can use with the next iteration of Warzone. We're also getting the Astra Militarum, which is for those players who wanna roleplay as normal humans in the world of 40k with space marines and tyranids and necrons and other xenos i want to be a normal human with no innate abilities you can definitely dress up as the astro militarum specifically in the armor of the troops of cadia and last but not least the skin i think most people end up buying from this set the battle sisters i want to die It is the God Emperor's will that we will purge the heretics, and you will subscribe down below. And this season also brings along a couple new weapons for you to use, one playing out these new game modes, and one of these weapons will actually be perfect for Warzone. So the first is the Soul Render Sword. It's coming in Season 2 Reloaded, and it will be a two-hit kill in Warzone and a one-hit kill in multiplayer, making it quite good. However, it is a bit slower than the knife, so you got a little bit of a wind-up before you actually hit the opponent. And we're also getting the SOA Subverter. This is a new low rate of fire and controllable recoil battle rifle, but it will be great for mid to long range engagements. And it's so good that Call of Duty included in their blog post, it's well worth considering this as your new main weapon in Warzone 3. They wouldn't state that unless they knew it was going to be one of the meta weapons in the update after everything gets changed. So keep an eye on that when the new update comes out. The season two reloaded update also features quite a few changes coming to the zombie storyline. We're getting the next part of act four, which will kind of expand this whole idea of exploring the ether rift. So first off, we're getting the new story mission, which sees you relying on Sergei Ravanov to direct you into the Dark Aether, and while you're in the Dark Aether, you're going to discover a mysterious entity that's trying to help your team and guide them within the Dark Aether. This is likely Samantha Maxis, but we'll figure out sooner or later. We're also getting a new Warlord, Carries. Set up inside a shooting range, this chemical warfare specialist will be pretty familiar to a lot of people. Carries was the predecessor to the chemist in DMZ. And on top of this, Call of Duty is introducing three new schematics. The Mags of Holding Schematic, 
which allows you to make the mags of holding, which pulls your ammo directly from your inventory instead of your magazine on your gun. Basically meaning if you have 500 bullets in your inventory while using the mags of holding, you can dump 500 bullets out of your gun without ever having to reload once. We're also getting the blood burner key schematic, which is a one use key that allows you to use the destructive blood burner bike for your use. However, the schematic allows you to craft this key multiple times, once every 12 hours, so you can maximize your potential of this key. And the last thing we're getting coming to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is the VR-11 Wonder Weapon schematic. You can now completely make the VR-11 Wonder Weapon in between missions in Call of Duty Zombies. However, from what we understand, it's going to have a 24-hour wait period between when you can make it next. However, you can decrease that timer upon successful completions of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies raids. It's really just something to keep in mind. And the next thing that you need to know about is the Warzone changes. There's only three things that are primarily changing in Warzone, but they have a huge impact on the game. So you don't want to miss this. The first is the research vessel. It arrives in Fortune's Keep and will circle the island as a roaming point of interest. However, it will only stick around the map until the end of the fifth ring. At that point, it will depart from the map. Meaning if you're still in the boat when it's leaving, you're going to get killed as you're carried out of the zone. And on top of this, you can't really hide on it until the end of the game. It's kind of great for those rats players who are thinking, oh, I can just hang out here and defend this spot the entire game. The next thing we're getting in Warzone is going to have the biggest impact, the Bunker Buster Killstreak. It's for clearing out enemies who are hiding in buildings. It's basically like a cruise missile you target a building with. Once it hits the building, it will detonate and explode a giant gas cloud enveloping the entire building, forcing the enemies out of the building, otherwise they're going to die to the gas. This is something that's really good for that kind of rat extermination process you run into in Warzone. If you get any rat players, you now know how to deal with them. And the last change coming to Warzone is the PDS field upgrade. This has been in the game files since Modern Warfare 2 Season 2, and we've been waiting for it to come into the game for an entire year. We finally have it in the game, and for those of y'all who don't know, it creates a space of breathable air around you while you're in the gas. However, this version has a couple little changes to it. First off, it can be attached to a vehicle. It will also reactivate buy stations if you use it next to a buy station, and it will float on water, making it a lot more powerful than it was in the original version of Warzone. Something to definitely keep your eye on while playing. And the last thing that you need to know is... In VLT of the God Emperor, subscribe for tomorrow's patch notes.